Hey guys, nice to see you. So this week we are going to be doing some really cool drawings. They are turning Sharpies and they're making them look like metallic Sharpies and it looks really cool and it's kind of a cool picture. You can draw something in it. Mine is just like an abstract design. I actually listen to music and let it move or how I felt like the lines move, that's what I did. So this is one example, so it's really cool. It's more fun doing these than actually um, kind of showing you it. I had a lot of fun figuring out what colors did what and everything. So let's go ahead and get started and let's get creative. So you'll need tin foil. Um, try and keep it as uh, clean as possible. How you can also cut it instead of using scissors because this will really damage scissors and nobody really likes you using scissors on tin foil is take like a, the edge of a ruler or a knife and just run it along the tin foil and then it will slowly break apart if the edges don't go you know don't cut cleanly it's fine because we clean up the edges with tape so that's a little bit too big because I'm gonna tape this to a piece of paper so I'm gonna split this in half to make two uh, uh, tin foil drawings. So now I'm gonna place this on my paper. I'm gonna place it in the center. I want the shiniest side upward. Now you guys can experiment and see what the other side does, but I want the shiny side up. So you can take whatever kind of tape you want. I'm taking painter's tape, masking tape works really well, and I am putting it over the side of my tin foil and then half of it's on the tin foil and half of it's on the piece of paper. That way my edges of my tin foil look nice and clean and I know my tin foil isn't gonna bunch up when I try to draw on it. You can just take the tape and fold it over the back side of your paper. Or what I do not in the video is I just cut off the extra and throw it away so it becomes a smaller paper but it looks like the blue tape is now framing the picture instead of any white showing and in the next shot I'm going to be playing music and like I said I'm doing my lines kind of how the music is moving so you'll get to see that and then you get to see me color them So the best markers to use are permanent markers. You can use normal washable markers. Just don't wipe it or put your hand down on it because it will wipe away really easily. As you can tell, you can use any type of music. You don't even have to do music. You can go ahead and just draw a picture and then color it in. It's just really about the metallic shininess of the color and how fun that looks. So again, I want you guys to really enjoy this, have fun and experiment with it. You enjoyed the project and see you later.